So welcome back. Again, as part of uh, module five, uh, that is incremented data processing. So we will take a next topic uh, that is a multi-hop or medallion uh, architecture. What we can call uh, that uh, we can take example how it how it can be implemented in Lakehouse Lakehouse concepts in Databricks. So this is not completely a, a new uh, Databricks concept, or it is not a technical concept. Uh, this is actually an architectural concept and. Uh, so it has been uh, used uh, so the multi hopper metal in architecture is already been uh, been used in many organization uh, and uh, if you are working in data engineering uh, domain so you might have been already aware of this right and uh, we will just see how this can be applied in uh, the same logic uh, or same uh, concept can be applied in databricks so if you are uh, new to the channel before proceeding uh, we would recommend you to please uh, subscribe and also press bell button for instant notification so let's get started So as you can see, uh, this this is what uh, we are calling as a multi multi hop or medallion architecture. That means, uh, as you can see in the left hand side, uh, there are different sources that we ingest data from. It might be a flat files, it might be a Spark streaming, it might be a stream of data coming from uh, the Kafka, it might be any database, right? Any data like or uh, so and uh, uh, or any kind of a source for that matter, right? and uh, finally the intention is uh, you want to uh, feed the data to a reporting or any stream analytics that you want to perform any kind of analysis or analytics on top of that data however in between what you do is uh, what we are talking now right so as you can see uh, we are uh, divided the layers basically uh, into three layers bronze silver and gold uh, it again depends on uh, multiple organization so if uh, like uh, there is only two level is needed uh, so you can just call uh, two le levels like bronze and gold uh, for that matter right or silver and gold for that matter right and a uh, few people might also call it as a staging layer and uh, then uh, like they can call it as a transform layer so it de again depends on uh, the terminologies that you use but uh, so most commonly used terminologies is, uh, is uh, the medallion architecture uh, so we call it as bronze silver and gold so what exactly the bronze means right so bronze uh, is a layer it might be again any data lake or any uh, so the storage we are not talking about any storage medium here you can choose to store the data in blob you, you can choose to store in s3 bucket or adls or any cosmos db anywhere for that matter right so here we are talking only about the data quality okay so we are not uh, talking about where this data is stored wherever the data is stored when we ingest the data to the, uh, to the uh, into the system uh, once the data loads that the, the, the data lands right so we will ingest it in it in a raw format right so that raw format uh, it can be json file format it, it might be rtpms table it might be iot data like a stream of data coming in it might be csv file any format right so we can keep that uh, file format as it is so it is basically a raw data ingested right and uh, in the silver table uh, what we exactly perform is uh, maybe you want to filter out a uh, few uh, column level filters or row level filters that you know don't need for that uh, uh, analysis right so you can just trim out the columns trim out the rows uh, by applying filters and also you can uh, refine the data uh, so that whatever needed needed for the gold that is the next le level of analysis is needed only that records you can keep it and uh, you can remove everything else basically right and uh, so that is the advantage of i mean that is the purpose of uh, having a silver uh, layer here also if you can uh, perform some kind of uh, joints uh, uh, between uh, different uh, raw tables and keep the data for the gold to consume uh, like uh, basically whatever you are performing in silver is basically what will be needed to gold uh, tier or gold layer right and so then once the silver prepares the data gold will finally runs the final reporting which might have some aggregations uh, uh, some kpis uh, related aggregations that might happen uh, to uh, basically uh, generate a daily basis reports or weekly basis report uh, to the final uh, reporting layer right so that is this is a very typical uh, uh, way of handling uh, the data data flow in the any uh, any, any data engineering project so we call it as a medallion architecture so now uh, without wasting time let us uh, go back to the demo and see how exactly this will be implemented in real time
But let's take a practical example, right? So as we discussed, uh, the architecture starts with a bronze layer, right? So the bronze layer is nothing but we will consider a bronze table here. So and let us start ingesting the raw data basically, which will be in the JSON format uh, uh, from the particular source, cloud source. As you can see, uh, we are using a cloud files here, so cloud format. And uh, this is nothing but uh, we are actually kind of uh, using a Spark uh, SQL streaming uh, actually to get the data because we are using a read stream here. And uh, you can see we are specifying the format and also we have specified uh, specifying uh, schema hints here. That means uh, we are specifying the data type for time column using uh, uh, using the schema schema hints. Uh, so this is to specify improper uh, specifying improper uh, type for a field uh, will result in null values i mean if there is any uh, improper types are coming so that will uh, i mean why it will default that to a null values so that's that about that and uh, which actually the, the source uh, location is this is the source location where we want to consume the data from and this is a particular file uh, uh, location sorry this is a checkpointing and uh, this is the fi source uh, file location that we want to consume from consume from so this uh, we have discussed in the previous videos uh, in detail about these options uh, i would recommend you to please check the previous videos in the same playlist and finally we are writing it to the uh, that uh, the table which we are calling it as a bronze layer so once i execute this uh, command uh, so it will basically kind of write it to the uh, bronze layer and now uh, we will read that uh, data from that bronze layer uh, table uh, that is a temporary table and uh, we will attach a current timestamp column and we will mark it as a receipt time uh, and also we will add a one more uh, actually basically we are calling that a function so input file name here and finally rising, uh, writing it to a bronze uh, temporary layer uh, which is a bronze layer what we are calling so uh, now from that uh, bronze temporary table that we created uh, we will start uh, reading the table and writing it to the next uh, layer uh, i mean basically to the bronze uh, uh, we will be writing to a bronze table okay which is actually a bronze level table what we call right so and also we can see there is a checkpoint enabled here and uh, as and when the data is flowing right uh, so it will write uh, into a bronze layer as you can see it since it is uh, we are reading it as a stream and writing it is also a stream so uh, basically uh, we are able to kind of write it as a stream here right and uh, the important point here uh, to know it notice that uh, definitely the checkpoint is there and we are using the append mode and uh, we are writing uh, to the uh, table called bronze and what is the format that is delta table delta format and uh, we are reading from spark table that is a record uh, underscore bronze temp wherever there is a data change in this table so automatically that will be captured into the table called bronze so now let us understand uh, something called as a load static lookup table that means uh, there is an asset uh, guarantee uh, there is an asset property right uh, automaticity consistency integrity and uh, durability uh, so that uh, guarantee that Delta Lake brings to uh, your data are managed at a table level itself and ensuring uh, only the fully successfully committed are reflected in your table. That means uh, the Delta table that we are uh, choosing in your streaming uh, in, into the bronze uh, or silver or gold layer, so all are asset compliant. So that means uh, all these uh, database uh, DBMS properties uh, that is automatic automaticity consistency isolation uh, uh, and uh, durability are uh, kind of uh, taken care here and uh, if that if you choose to merge the this data with uh, different uh, sources uh, be uh, you should be very cautious because uh, the version source version data and uh, what sort of consistency guarantee they have so that is that might be compromised and uh, in this uh, simplified demo we will uh, also look how to load a static csv file to the patient data to uh, our recordings So as you can see, uh, we are reading the patient data here, and uh, which is a CSV file format, right? And uh, we are specifying the schema. We are enforcing enforcing the schema also here, and uh, so also we have mentioned one more option that is header. That means uh, it has to cap 
when you are reading a csv file first row will be considered as the header and it will be uh, ignored from the actual data and what exactly you are loading this is the input file that is exactly loading and finally you are writing to the temporary table called pii but the very important point to notice spark.read so here you are not doing spark.read stream so that is the difference right previously you are doing spark.read stream so here you are just doing read that means so you are just statically loading the table here because this table is uh, not a streaming table right this is a master uh, master table or it, it might be some kind of a fact table or uh, data which is having a facts right so that in that case uh, you it, it will not uh, uh, refresh uh, on every second basis right so in that case uh, you can use the the, the static load uh, or static uh, uh, loading concept uh, just using spark.read instead of read stream and uh, once you display uh, what is there in the PII this is the result uh, that you can see uh, where there is a MRN and name that we have specified in the schema so that we are able to display here so now that uh, we have the bronze layer ready right so we will want to go to the next layer uh, we want to move the data to the silver uh, silver table or silver layer right so what exactly we want to do in the silver layer right so our recording uh, data will be joined with the PII data to add the patient uh, names and patient details uh, similarly the time for our recording will be passed uh, to the format so which is a human readable format and we will also uh, exclude a uh, few heart rates that are less than uh, or equal to zero so that means that uh, there might be some error or patient uh, absence of patient so you want to exclude those uh, records uh, uh, so basically we will do these operations you can add any number of operations as we discussed right you can uh, consider only the tables uh, 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 table columns that you need uh, you can join the two tables and you can consider only the columns which are needed apply row level filter column level filter or whatever uh, uh, in the uh, silver layer as required by the gold layer gold table so now we first uh, before uh, proceeding we will just uh, read that uh, bronze table and write it to the temporary bronze table here and again uh, now uh, what we will do is uh, we will uh, read the from the temporary bronze table and we will join with the PII table and finally write into recording uh, w, w PII table as a temporary here as you can see we are applying uh, uh, some kind of joints here and also we are applying some row level or uh, column level filters uh, to actually remove the unwanted uh, details so finally uh, we will read from that uh, table that we have just written and write it as a stream uh, to the uh, table called record enriched and we will execute that so now that it is executed now uh, basically it is executing and you can see uh, there is good amount of data which is uh, flowing into that uh, record enriched uh, table right and uh, so this is uh, this is again a stream because we are writing it as a stream and uh, the table that you have written here right you are writing to a table called record enriched record uh, records enriched so the same uh, table if you query here uh, and you can get easily the count uh, so of that at a particular table so this is basically a silver uh, table silver layer table so finally in the gold uh, layer what we will do is uh, we will read the data from the records enriched that is a silver layer and write it to another stream uh, to create an aggregated gold table of a daily average for each patient right so after that uh, we will execute the create table statement where exactly we are doing all kind of uh, aggregation function on the record enriched temp uh, which was taken in the previous step uh, from the silver layer and we are doing aggregation for each patient here you can see MRN and name and for each patient we are uh, uh, displaying the heart rate. So this will be directly and uh, finally will be returned to the uh, table called patient average and uh, finally the patient daily patient average uh, the patient average table will be read and then finally will be returned to the daily patient average uh, which will be called as a final uh, gold gold level uh, uh, table gold layer table for that matter right which will be the final layer and you can see here uh, we are just running available equal to true because we want just a one time uh, one time data uh, data should be loaded here so that is the reason we are running this 
but if you want uh, that to be in stream uh, you know like uh, trigger you can give processing time and you can give in uh, seconds or minutes and uh, as you can see even though it is a right stream uh, since we are given available now equal to true it will execute uh, uh, only one time uh, and it uh, it actually uh, reads all the data in uh, multiple chunks uh, and uh, finishes the job or uh, terminates the job and within 30 seconds you can see the job is completed here successfully and it has returned the data into a final uh, gold level uh, table gold tier table right so which is a daily patient average hope uh, this was useful uh, so the same medallion architecture can be uh, used uh, like bronze silver and gold uh, architecture can be used the data flow can be used uh, uh, either in the batch uh, streaming uh, batch or streaming uh, kind of uh, scenarios so if you have a batch job uh, so even in that case uh, you can apply this uh, so but in this uh, we have shown uh, uh, how to kind of uh, use the medallion architecture even in case of the streaming data right so here the data will be continuously streaming uh, in a streaming mode uh, from the uh, starting from the source till from bra bronze silver and uh, gold uh, data will be continuously streaming uh, in this uh, example as we have shown yeah. so i would recommend you to practice uh, with uh, real like real time examples and uh, so that you will be comfortable uh, understanding this concept uh, by yourself so hope this was useful thanks for watching